this time on Game Grumps. I was asleep the whole time. Shut your murdering mouth. Talk about the pot in the fucking kettle. <laughs> Taka just looks like, I think I'll just lay down here for a <laughs> second. <laughs> I'm tired. So did the doll. This should prove ah, it. Ah, my <laughs> argument. <laughs> what do you mean, what do you mean? You were the one that wore the costume and figured out it couldn't bend over. Second, if you please. Uh, Duh, Celeste, you are a stick in the, the mud. <laughs> If you don't suck this into your truth cylinder, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed. Yes. Just watch. Are you sure? Bro, you think I haven't survived a hangman's gambit <laughs> once or twice? <laughs> hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Hello, and welcome back to Game Grumps. Welcome to the second Game Grumps episode that opens on this exact picture. <laughs> wow, that is really strange, huh? Well, it's not that strange when you re remember this game gives you 40 flashbacks an hour. That's true. And also, like, there are a total of, like, 20 drawings in this entire game. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right, but yeah, we're, we're, we're hot into the trial, and uh, we're, we're gonna crack this nut. Yeah. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. Okay. Good job, idiot! <laughs> I don't know. Don't just go making stuff up. Well, like, you, it's what you were doing the whole time! We all have rock solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. Okay. He does not stop there. Okay. There was also the moment. It's just one guy, like, standing there, <laughs> slack jawed, listening to him. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. cool. Dope. <laughs> Uh huh. Hina and I were in the bathroom together while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? Boy, that bathroom trip really fucking is the most pivotal bathroom trip of people's yeah. lives. Yeah. Yes, we pulled with the bathroom. Yes, we did. Yes. And I saw you pee, and you saw me pee. And then, we made and sure that's we why Hero is the murderer. <laughs> At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Mm -hmm. oh, Then what if Genocide Shield did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then! Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Kifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Besides, they didn't do either of them anyway. <laughs> in other words, oh, well, let's take the mass murderer's word for it. Yeah. Somehow I find her the most reliable when she says she doesn't murder something, because I feel like... Yeah, because she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like she'd be like, I did it, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kyoko. Kyoko. Yeah. Since you already figured out the solution to this, where do we go next? We can't get fixated on who did it, especially now that I'm being accused. Yeah. <laughs> I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. He got up and walked. We searched everywhere, but we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... We, we could have not gone for more than a minute or two, though. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifami's body. That's you. Body That's the Makoto. Sort of, that's so then the killer was able to get in and move Hifami's body in a short amount of time. It would seem so. Okay. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the So I just changed his voice halfway through the game and just... But to carry that much weight? <laughs> yeah. There's no way. It's impossible. He's totally fat! <laughs> like, like, it just dawns on Hero what they're trying to say. It's like, oh my god, Hero, Jesus. <laughs> what? How? If the dead body were to move itself. Oh, shit. Uh, uh -huh. you? Yeah. Dan, you, uh -huh. fucking, you fucking called it, dude. You called it, like... Wow, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. Yeah. Um... No, not another ghost hero. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> hero, could you just like leave the room for a little bit and yeah, just chill? Yeah. Like, <laughs> take a little puff, puff. Yeah, really chill not out. helping. I think we thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. Oh. Alive? Yeah, I mean he was alive. Like you saw it. Are you saying Hifumi yeah. wasn't carried out of the nurse's office? simply walked out on his own. But I mean, we found his body. He 
was dead. Before he was alive? Yeah, and then he talked to you for a while. That it isn't possible. Sure it is. He was alive. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is really possible. For fuck's sake, you guys, do I really have to shoot truth bullets at this one? <laughs> Playing it cool, hero. Good to see. Are you saying that when we first found Hifumi in the nurse's office, mm -hmm. there's a chance he was actually still alive? Um. No, it is impossible. Hifumi was dead. <laughs> I just love that you have the one bullet and you don't know when to use it, so you're just waiting, like, <laughs> BROKEN WISTWATCH! <laughs> okay. Someone else's discovery. Oh. Okay. So someone else found Taka's body while we found Hifumi's body? Is that what they're saying? May- I- I think? Okay. Um, cause I'm cool. Ah. Mm-hmm. Are we really so sure about that? Yeah, Maybe love the it. Announcement was intended to signal someone else Dead body be found! Oh. <laughs> what? What was it, backwards? Shit. Shit! Are you saying that when we I guess it was backwards. Alright, well then I'll speed to that one. Oh, you mean absorbing the last one? And yeah. No, fuck! God damn it, you're supposed to hold it, you stupid cuck! Alright. Uh, God damn it. Alright. <laughs> all right. You're the one who is the cuck, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, I know. I called. That's what I was calling myself the cuck, dude. You cucked yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We got that. And then. Alright, cool. In the nurse's office. <laughs> <laughs> Ba 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 Who wants a body massage? There you go. Well done. Not cucumber! I just love, like, everyone's, like, casually talking about stuff. They're like, but what if the body would- No, it's wrong! The body was not what was really intended for Hifumi. The announcement played right after we discovered his body. Okay. But that was also the same time that Taka's body was found. That's right. It wasn't long after- I forgot about that. ...that we heard the announcement. So there's a good chance we've made a mistake in there somewhere. I think we've confused whether the announcement was for Hifumi or Taka. Was there a second announcement? First of all- No. There was only one. Found. There really should have been two announcements. Yeah. Maybe Monokuma simply got lazy and rolled them together into one. What do you say, Monokuma? Any comment? Mmm, shut the fuck up! Well, it's a very sensitive issue, so I can't go into too much detail. All right. But what I can say about the body discovery announcement is that it's only if we did it. broadcast when three or more people find a dead body for the first time. Mm. First time. He did answer your question, hero. <laughs> no, actually, that was plenty. Who <laughs> was? He said it's only broadcast when a body is discovered for the first time, which means even if we find the same body again later, he won't make the announcement again. Right. <laughs> Hence the meaning of the words that were said. <laughs> Discovery announcement twice. The second body discovery I announcement. I guess there was. First time it played was when we found each body in the nurse's office in the equipment room. And the second time was when... Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, crap. I don't remember. Uh... When both bodies were rediscovered? Yes. We heard it a second time in the repository when we rediscovered the two bodies. So people were seeing it for the first time. 
Ding dong, ding dong. The body has been discovered. After a short amount of time, would you make use of you like the class trial will begin? It didn't seem weird at the time, but it contradicts what Monokuma just told us, doesn't it? Yeah, but Ifumi was still alive when that one went off. Exactly. If we were actually rediscovering both bodies, the announcement shouldn't have played. Hmm. In reality, when the two dead bodies were rediscovered, one of them was actually being oh, crap. for the first time. So when we found Hifumi the first time in the nurse's office. Oh, but he was dead the second time? But he woke up and talked to what's her face. Meaning he wasn't actually found dead until we came upon him in the repository. Oh, so Hifumi's not the murderer. He's what? just dead. But he became to life again! When Hina cried on him. That's when they rediscovered him. There's one other thing that leads me to believe he was Come on, don't fucking do this. Like, it was airtight, and now it's not. I don't know. That is the worst logic I have ever heard. But honestly, I do not think there's anything that can prove he was still alive. Okay, then. Let's take another look at the events surrounding the discovery. All right, we actually need this flashback. Okay. Because now we're confused. It's oh, not. Shut up. <laughs> it, has to be, it has to be proved that shows Fumi is still alive. I have to find it and show it. It's the glasses. Could it be when he came back to life and spoke? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Load it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> right. But when you compare his body before being moved, Oh, here we go. Here's the next one. Other than the change in how it was positioned. Okay. No the difference! Boom! <laughs> no, you're wrong! My argument! <laughs> you <laughs> shot me, your Yozers! Right. Oh. Only playing dead. No, you're wrong. <laughs> when we found Hifumi in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. Gross. But when we found him again later in the repository, uh huh. Spotless. Oh. And I found the item he used to wipe them clean in the nurse's office trash can. No oh, shit. Oh, what what was the thing that cleaned his glasses? It was the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I was confused at first. Featuring a certain cartoon mascot. <laughs> One look at the blood stain on the cloth should make things clear. This piece of cloth was used to wipe Hifumi's glasses clean. Right. And the mascot on the cloth is the same one that's on the digital camera, right? Yes. And who's sure. the camera was it? Hifumi's, of course. You really don't need to. You can just look at it and be like, this is Hifumi's. Princess Piggles. From Demon Angel. I don't need you to say it. Anyone but Hifumi would have brought something like this to school. I see your point. And the only people here who I see your point. Nobody's a fucking loser enough to have one of those. Oh damn. Pyaka. Like a few tissues is all I need to keep my glasses clean. Then there's no question. It belongs to Hifumi. <laughs> then everyone's telling the truth here. And it absolutely <laughs> belongs to Hifumi. So what you're saying is. What I'm saying is, the blood on his glasses was wiped away using his own glasses cleaning cloth. Even if that is true, it does not mean he wiped the blood off himself. I mean, yeah. But who eh. would benefit from a clean pair of glasses other than the glasses owner? That's a good point. That's a good question. It must have been him, right? So let's assume what if Hina cried the, the glasses clean <laughs> yeah, with her tears? True. He pretends to be dead. 
Then when he's alone, he wipes his glasses clean so he can see. Then he stands up and walks out on his own two feet. And with that, yep. the impossible task of moving his copious corpse becomes possible. Ah, uh, copious corpus. <laughs> Then I cried for nothing. <laughs> what was with all that blood? Was it paint or something? Maybe he dipped his head in Taka's blood. Yeah, it could have been. He probably used one of those. Oh. All right. That's right. It was in the fridge. Yes. I don't know, that's pretty smart. And if Kifumi was still alive at that point, the disappearance of Taka's body is easily explained. It should be perfectly obvious who must have moved Taka's corpse. Um, it was Kifumi. <laughs> it was Sakura. It was Sakura! She's like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> While we were all gathered in the nurse's office, he went to the equipment room and took Taka's body. That also explains how the door to the repository got locked. The door was locked? Well, after the bodies disappeared, we all went looking for them, right? So me and Sakura headed for the repository. Yeah, and nobody was left behind. But when we got stupidly. There, the door was locked. And the repository door can only be locked from the inside. Which means when Hina and Sakura got to the repository, someone was already inside. And it could only have been mm -hmm. just finished stashing Taka's body there. Mm -hmm. Convinced us all he was dead. And when he saw his chance, he dragged Taka's body to the repository. So, Kifumi wasn't just another victim in this case. He was one of the assailants. Holy crap. That means he took part in the murders. I just can't believe it. If you're I cried on his face for nothing. I know. One more piece of evidence. There's more? Oh, absolutely. The single biggest fact pointing to his involvement has yet to be revealed. You know what I'm talking about, right? We'll talk about it next time on Don Gone Run Pot. Oh, man. Oh, God. It's so... Uh. Oh, no. I was just making a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, these episodes go so fast, dude. Yeah. I didn't say next time on Game Gross. I see. It was like a, okay. There was just something about her wording that was very, like... There's one yeah, other cliffhanger. thing, and then like you know, it fades to black, and then the ass mm. cream is what you need, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thing that Fumi stole from Taka could it be. Um, it was the wait, the thing that Fumi stole from Taka. Yasuhiro's message. It's the yeah, it's the note. Yes, yes, the the note. Sorry, that's what I meant. You're talking about the note Hifumi had hidden away, aren't you? Hidden note? <gasps> we found it yeah, we didn't feel like telling you about it before. <laughs> what? It mm. Yes. <laughs> pants. Okay, well, about the pants for now. Take a look at what the note so said. Fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, found a hole we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. That's the note I was telling you about. The one that told me where to go. Right. I knew it existed. This one's a little different. In my note it said, Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. see. Then this note isn't the same one Hero got. <gasps> it's not the same? Yeah, you li <laughs> You just said it's different. <laughs> different means not the same. <laughs> and that person could only have been it's Taka. Hifumi's pants. We got it! That's right. Taka. The killer used this note to draw out Taka and murder him. Hello! Over here! Objection! Objection! I don't really understand what's going on, but Hifumi had that letter, right? Uh-huh. What the fuck are you talking about? Please stop about? using pet names for everyone. Just to be clear, TikTok is Taka and Huffy is Hifumi, right? <laughs> yes, I just wasted everybody's time. You ruin it every time. <laughs> That's never been ruined. I never heard her do that before. Has she done that before? Oh, she, yeah, she's been doing that for a while. Oh, okay. I can't let her get to me. Oh, 
It's time for- I'll kill her! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, oh boy. Many bullets. Oh right, I have to like, switch them. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Correct. What are you talking about? Nothing to do with TikTok, eh? <laughs> My app screen says differently. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't oh. even really know what the hell TikTok is. Oops, oops. <laughs> Motherfucker! Fucking floaty ass motherfucking floaty ass purple. Happy! Oh, stop. Uh huh. What about broken nice. wristwatch? This has everything to do with TikTok. TikTok, motherfucker. Yup. <laughs> the only things rich watches do are tick and or talk. <laughs> What the hell are you tick talking about? Which is the same time Taka was murdered. Yeah. We've already proven that using his wristwatch. But there's more. Look where the note says to meet. The equipment room, right? Mm-hmm. Just where Taka was killed. Bleh. So, Taka was murdered at both the time and place <laughs> written in the note. I think that's the <laughs> that this note was definitely meant for Taka. Well, then you could have liked that. Not better objections. Then someone used that note to trick Taka, just the same as me. I was tricked too. Oh, what the fuck? I was trick talked. But if they gave the note to Taka, what was Hifumi doing with it? Stuffed down his pants, no less. Most likely, Hifumi stole it off Taka's corpse after he died. Hmm. He stole it? Yeah, it's rigor mortis or whatever. Go ahead, show us. Yes. First thing is the ripped thing in his hand. You better believe it, baby. I got, got it. it. <laughs> when I searched Taka's body, I saw that his lifeless hand was gripping a small scrap of paper. Uh -huh. If I'm right about this, the sheet of paper this piece came from is. I mean, you have <gasps> both of them. You could just. You could. <laughs> Why are you doing that now? Oh my god! <laughs> Go on! <laughs> Put it together! <laughs> what?! Mm-hmm. The way you just explained it. There's different ways to explain it, but fine. Fumi tried to free the note from his death grip, leaving behind only one small scrap. One yeah, small scrap. Right. Yeah. yeah, sure. Exactly. I'm gonna go take a scrap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, an S crap. A super crap. <laughs> what? When we found him in the repository? Yeah, he was dead, but that's why the announcement played. But if <laughs> some someone killed him in between those moments. But he came back to life. No, no, that was before. What? No. It was when they were both in the same room. He they they found them and then Hina came in and was like, "No, he found me." And then he was like, "I'm genuinely hey. confused." Right? Like that's why I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. So then who killed Hifumi? Whoever did is the mastermind, the true killer. Hifumi himself. In the repository. So he must have been killed not long after transporting Taka's body. Okay. So, he must have been killed after Taka's body vanished, 
but before we found both bodies in the repository. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> during that time, we'd all split up and we're searching for Taka's missing body. In other words, during that time, none of us have alibis. Wait, oh, great. But me and Sakura were together. Stop trying to steal the spotlight, you stupid walrus. Okay. Wow. It's harsh. Anyway, when they were killed, bothered <laughs> me too. But there's something that's been bothering me even more. And what? Jock itch. <laughs> the weapon they used to kill Hifumi. The weapon? Yeah. Because, I mean, according to the Monokuma file, the way Taka and Hifumi were killed was almost the same, with them having similar fractures and all. Mm -hmm. Justice Hammer 3 and 4 were still laying around in the nurse's office and equipment room, right? Mm -hmm. So if Hifumi was killed... Oh, he was killed by one of the, the hammers, and then it was cleaned. Mmm, yes. Robert would have had to grab one of the hammers, kill Hifumi, then put the hammer back where they found it. But wouldn't that be seriously risky for him? Good work, hero. <laughs> yeah, that's like the smartest thing he's ever said. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> I love hero. He's right, though. I don't understand it either. Uh -huh. The Monokuma file makes it clear that they were killed using similar instruments. But if the hammers were already laying around those other rooms... So the there were like 20 hammers! How could the culprit have gotten their hands on either of the hammers? Personally, I haven't a clue. Oh my god, the room had fucking a thousand hammers so in it. Which hammer was <laughs> used to attack Celeste? Number one or number two? You said number one or number two. Those were two. accounted for in other rooms too. And I don't think either one is big enough to kill someone. Um... Then... Is it not possible they used a different weapon? <laughs> yes, it's possible. God, why is there so much talking when it's already figured out? <laughs> the weapon that was used to kill Hifumi. The whole picture surrounding the case won't be called in fear. Is there any fan truth? Okay. Mm -hmm. Spotless hammer. The spotless hammer, done. The spotless done. hammer. <laughs> I mean, it might have been a fake out. That might have been... You might have had to shoot, like, right from the beginning. I don't think so, because that has to be a contradiction. Right. It can't be, like, an answer to a question. Right. I hope that's a real website. I'm not website. gonna do that. There, there it is. Fuck! God damn my fucking aim! Oh, what the wow. hell, dude? <laughs> brutal. Just brutal. Give me a goddamn break. Am I ever gonna cleanly do any one of these? No. <laughs> yes. No! Blow a hole in that dumb argument! You're a piece of garbage! You're really like relying on everyone else to be wrong for you to be right. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. It's like I could have just been like, guys, listen, I found a hammer with, that was clean. <laughs> Somebody know. has to be like, it's definitely one of. But seriously, a different weapon? Specifically, a hammer from the repository. The killer could have easily used that to kill the food. Right. In fact, it would have been awesome and fun. So did Taka wake up and then kill Hifumi? But for some reason, one of them had been scrubbed clean. Wow, that would be really weird. And the reason it had been scrubbed clean was most likely because it was used to commit murder. If the hammer was covered in Hifumi's blood, of course they'd have to clean it off. I'd also like to point out that the repository has all kinds of hammers. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. And even some flat <laughs> mallet like ones. I think whoever made the justice hammers used those as a basis for their design. Right. I mean it was clearly Hifumi that That's made the true. Justice Hammer. That would explain the Monokuma files note about the wounds being similar. So Hifumi moved Taka's body to the repository where someone then used a hammer to kill him. Uh-huh. The one Hifumi was working with. And the one who betrayed him. Hold Holy on, crap. I still think it's strange to assume someone was working together with him. Guilty. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Uh, are we really?
really? <laughs> yeah. So the idea that anyone would work together like that is simply ludicrous. We talked about this, did we not? We did talk about it. There wouldn't be any reason for anyone to work together. At least that's what we thought at first. But... But, spinnies! <laughs> Make your argument. Oh, spotless hammer again, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I'm probably gonna have to absorb one. Based on the rules that have been laid out for us, even if more than one person is complicit in the murder, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the one who actually carried out the act can graduate and survive. Right. Assuming the rule holds true, it is simply impossible that two people work together on this. It's not impossible. But that only really applies if there's one murder, right? In this case, however, there were two murders. Ah. Oh, give me that one. Okay. I mean, there's only two options. It's impossible. Yeah. And... Only the one who actually carried out the act can graduate, assuming the rule holds true. Okay, I'll you. Fuck! <laughs> good, good job, Aaron. <laughs> Shut up! Great work. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do it either. Ah! Fuck. Okay, it's the other way around. All right, switch it around. Yeah, I, I kind of had a feeling because, like, when they say stuff like impossible, that's the perfect. Uh, yeah. Chance to say no, it's totally possible. It's a very contradictable statement. Yeah, it's like they're not working together. One person murdered someone, and another person murdered someone. Give me the god fucking god! You, you you have to shoot away the purple thing, and I actually now that I think about it, I don't think you have to. I think you can absorb really? it with the purple thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, there you go. Great. Yeah, you showed me, Aaron. <laughs> So stupid, Dan! <laughs> you don't know anything about how Danganronpa specific shit works. That'll teach you to help. <laughs> Break. Take five, everybody. Man, this has been a lengthy trial. Yeah. Right. If there'd only been one murder, then yes, the idea of an accomplice isn't really- No, we're about to- we're about to disappear from each other. Yeah. Oh no. I can see it coming already. Ah, oh, there it goes. Wow, he was right. Ah, look at that. I called wow, it. Wow, you, you, you called, called that shit. You've learned the ways. <laughs> I'll teach you the ways. Yeah. Uh, shall we finish this trial next time on Game Grumps? Shall we? We shall indeed, my friend. Alright. My stinky, Next stinky time, friend. we finish this puppy. Yeah, goodbye everyone. Bye. Alright. Cool. All right. Cool, cool. All right. My name is My Jeffrey. Name is Jeffrey. Ugh.